Good evening. Back Mr. when we were searching for the perfect co-anchor for Dave Patterson, we had some mighty tough requirements. Above all, we need an experienced news editor. Think there's a rewrite on that City Hall story you want? Someone who has a firm grasp for the issue. Like the economy. Give me a How do you my copy of the Wall Street Review? Oh, thank you. But he must have compassion. A genuine concern for people. Tom, can I possibly get you another cup of coffee? Yes. Ted Henry. We found the best co-anchor right in our own backyard. Good evening, everyone. This is the news. We knew it all along. in Cleveland's history began this morning. Are you the kind of guy that really digs a moving machine? Then dig this. I dig it, Don. I dig it. Since he started in 1964, Don Webster has had many assignments here at WEWS. He's done commercials, anchored the news, weather, and sports, and hosted its academic, the Ohio Lottery, and even some bowling and bingo shows. But you may also remember him for something else. Because when we talk about the musical legacy of WEWS, there's no escaping the name Don Webster. It's time for Uppy! Well, I think it was successful because it was the first show of its kind on television that featured, you know, the rock and roll stars performing live. And now here's the popular host of our beat, Don Webster. Thank you very much. We have some very special guests with us on Upbeat today. Bobby Sherman is here. He'll be along in just a very few moments. I'm taking a shade out of the sun. Everybody came in and rehearsed in the morning, and uh, we got everything set up, and then uh, broke for lunch and came back and uh, did it just like a live show uh, during the afternoon. Taped it and finished sometimes at 4.30 or quarter to 5 and hastily rewound the great big two-inch tape and played it back at 5 o'clock. A good number of them came in from Detroit, Motown X, uh, a lot of the Black X, and then they played down at Leo's. And uh, this was a good stop for them because we we're just down the street from Detroit. So they'd come in here and polish the act a little bit, you know, before they headed off to uh, Philadelphia, New York, and some of the other places on the East Coast. contact the record companies and want a big star and they'd say well you can have the big star but uh, in order to get the big star you have to have star B, C and D come in newcomers to the business. So as a result of that we had a lot of people come in uh, who went on to become big stars and they you know they started first with us so it was a win-win. You know, I look at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame now and I see so many people who have been enshrined there, you know, who started on our show and I say, wow, you know, we worked with all those people. That was the last time that Otis appeared on television. And uh, that night he performed at Leo's Casino and uh, left late that night uh, for Wisconsin. And of course a plane went down with, uh, with the whole band, with the exception of one band member who fell in love in Cleveland on Saturday night and missed the plane or decided to catch up on Sunday. And uh, he was the only one to survive. So that was his last performance, and uh, we had it here. Well, that about uh, does it for this session of Bob Don Webster here, inviting you back again next week when we will be featuring Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. Spanky and our gang, 
Bobby V, the Happenings, Bobby Gentry, Jackie Wilson, the Outsiders, Peaches and Herb, the Five Americans, and all the regular gang. At its peak, the upbeat show from Cleveland was seen in more than a hundred cities every single week. But Upbeat wasn't the only musical institution at WEWS. The Gene Carroll Show was one of the first musical variety shows ever on television. From the 50s through the 70s, the weekly program showcased some of the best in local entertainment every Sunday at noon. When Gene passed away in 1972, it was Don Webster who eventually replaced him. And immediately following the Gene Carroll Show, every Sunday at 1, was another WEWS musical institution. Polka Varieties, hosted by Paul Wilcox, became one of the longest running programs in the history of television. Spanning four decades on the air, Polka Varieties featured the best in polka music and dancing from around the world. One reason for its success? Back then, America's polka capital was Cleveland, Ohio. Today, Paul Wilcox is retired and enjoying the good life in sunny Florida. Coming up next, it's Kitty Time with Captain Penny, Mr. Jingling, and Miss Barbara. But first, here are some more of our favorite News Channel 5 bloopers over the years. We call these due to circumstances beyond our control. Good morning again. I'm Jenny Krim in the news. Los Angeles police reopened the popular Venice Beach this morning. They kept a watchful eye on the beach overnight after fighting erupted between rival gangs. The beach was closed when 50 gang members got into a brawl. And Ohio's lawmakers say it's been a slow year, but things should be picking up soon as they try to wrap up a budget by July 1st. Most members blame the inactivity on the state's tight budget. More news at noon. A routine drug bust in Jackson, Mississippi turned into a dramatic gunfight and a TV crew is actually there. We'll show you some really incredible pictures. Now over nine union supermarkets in Cleveland have been gearing up for the strike. They've even tripled their orders. Some are even truck. First of all, let's have a look at a few statistics and see what type of day we had today. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> Howard just said he wonders if he marks. I don't know. Have you been giving some thought lately to selling your prized gold and silver possessions? Well, before you accept any offers, you might want to listen to a three-part report. Marge Banks begins tonight. <laughs> Quick thinking on the part of a West Side man may have saved him and his family possible disaster. Emergency medical technicians rush to 1309 West 111th Street, and that's hardly uh, the story we're talking about, so we'll tell you about it later on, okay? All right, Ted, thank you. Well, five days and counting until your 1991 federal income tax return is due in the mail. And our <laughs> money pro says it's still not too late to cut your tax bill. Once in a while, you'll find a couple of guys who just naturally work well together. Like Dave Patterson and Ted Henry. What each can do well alone works even better when they're together. A natural sort of communication you just don't find every day. Good evening, I'm Dave Patterson. And I'm Ted Henry. Another chapter today in the investigation into that... Dave Patterson and Ted Henry. Ted the news people people talk about. Naturally. Take the journey through song and dance, from the sensual to the sensational, from Ireland to the world beyond. River Dance. An international company of brilliant performers in the spectacle taking the world by storm. River Dance. January 6th through 18th at the State Theater. Reserve seats now at the box office. All Advantage outlets are charged at 216-241-6000. Produced by Magic Works Entertainment. You think painting is wonderful therapy. You don't mind getting your hands dirty. You take your free time seriously, but not too seriously. You think wallpapering isn't so much a chore as a challenge. And you think a bruised thumb is a badge of honor. Well, we think like you. We're HGTV, home and garden television. Check your local listings or call and ask for it. Of your home, DIY home warehouse. 
buy an Aero storage shed for as low as $229 and DIY will give you a floor kit free. Hides drywall corner tool or hammerhead flex joint knife for just $4.96. And DIY has a Kenroy polished brass ceiling fixture for only $14.44. DIY Home Warehouse. Stop and Shop is the store you can count on for all of your traditional holiday favorites, plus great values on everything in between. And while you're here, save on Philadelphia cream cheese, 79 cents. I can't believe it's not butter, only $1.19. And assorted varieties of Maselli's ricotta cheese is $1.49. And remember, you can count on Stop and Shop to make the tastes of the season festive, delicious, and convenient. Count on Stop and Shop for my family. Have you ever had one of those days when nothing goes right? Sometimes the most natural of partners can get a little off in their timing. Even Ted Henry and Dave Patterson can find their finely tuned teamwork slightly off target. But when you're Cleveland's most natural news team, you can always pull your act together when it really counts. Good evening, I'm Dave Patterson. And I'm Ted Henry. The news people people talk about. Even on one of those days. Jungle time in the Captain's Comedy Clubhouse, and once again, live and in person, from Cedar Point, Safari Island, and the International Zoological Society, uh, Jungle Larry. No, no that's, that's not that's me. Not Jungle Larry. Our old pal, Jungle Larry, over there. Hi, Jungle Larry. Hi. Captain Penny was an instant success with the kids. His real name was Ron Penfound, and along with his daily kid shows, Penfound could be seen and heard every day on WEWS as announcer and sometimes weatherman. Penfound named himself the captain by mistake, not realizing the person in charge of a train was the conductor. But the name Captain Penny stuck, and during his kids' shows, one of the captain's most popular guests was a character who called himself Jungle Larry. You know what my school teacher used to tell me, Mr. Captain mm. Penny? What, what in the world is going on? One of our cameramen, Brinkman Dick Sweeney's wife, gave birth to a baby Sunday, a little girl. Yeah. And he gave me a cigar, and he's oh, going no. after the cigar. No, you no, know, no, you don't, no, no, you're no. two and a half years old. You don't smoke cigars unless they're made of chocolate candy. Jungle Larry would, at the end, when Captain stopped wearing his uniform, would tape his pieces. And he'd bring in a bunch of animals who would sit in what is now the newsroom. Rudy, how about a little dance? An old African dance. You ready? Oh, what Jin Jay, what Jin Jay, what Jin Jay. Wow, oh, Rasta, my Yakuza. Oh, what Jin Jay, what Jin Jay, what Jin Jay. That's an old African folk song. <laughs> yes, <Okay>. really? <laughs> you could me. We have a sequence from an old captain's comedy clubhouse where Larry has a cat in a cage. He's one of the world's vanishing animals. And if you mothers would quit buying fur coats, this animal would have a chance to live. So, while you see this piece, what you're not aware of is at the end of every segment, uh, when we finish, we'd play this music, Jungle Drums. And the segments would last, you know, maybe four or five minutes. On African farm. <coughs> oh, that was a good one. Now, let me... This is Jungle Larry, your friend. Remember me? <coughs> Yeah, he remembers me. Did you hear him say hello? Larry reaches in to try to get this cat out. Finally, the cat cuts his hand wide open. He hides the hand behind his back, and he's bleeding all over the place. And goes, well, is this jungle drums I'm hearing? Which means, this segment's over, pals. I'm bleeding. <laughs> all right. All right. Jungle Larry, we're just... Do you hear jungle drums? <laughs> no, I don't. That must be your heart must beating. Be your heart beating. Thank goodness it's still beating. Oh, yes, Dindy and Charlie's still a good straight for. man, I'll tell you. Mr. Jingling, dear him, Jingling, keeper of the keys. Each key on his chain tells a story plain. Oh.